uh, in my previous videos i've talked about the interaction between ships and tugs as well as the girting of tugs or girthing of tugs uh, and today i'll talk about the types of tugs that are used in uh, ship handling and ship maneuvering uh, i will give you the links to my previous videos as well but uh, today's focus will be on mainly three types of tugs uh, and uh, their advantages and disadvantages all right so let's start with the first type of tug which are the conventional tugs that are widely employed and used because of their good sea keeping qualities and they have been found to be very economical and powerful uh, over the years uh, but they have been known to be fairly restricted by basic maneuverability mm -hmm. uh, which is sometimes slow and sometimes uh, limited in their ability to reposition quickly as per the vessel's requirements the proportion of these tugs is usually at their stern and this dictates the design position of the towing hook normally the pivot point will be approximately one fourth the length of the tug from the forward part of the tug uh, however once a tow is connected and tug takes the weight it is likely that the pivot point will move aft or shift aft towards her towing point which will be usually as far forward as possible and as near amidships as possible pivot point reduces from propeller and hence the thrust also reduces if any attempt is made to rigidly fix the toe on conventional tugs or closer to the toe it results in a large or total reduction of the turning lever which is formed between the pivot point and the thrust point of the tug this affects the loss of maneuverability the towing hook needs to be positioned as far forward of the propulsion unit as possible the combination of towing hook midships and limited maneuverability places this tug at risk to interaction or girthing of tugs uh, girthing of tugs if you have seen my previous video basically refers to the capsizing of tug when instead of the tug pulling the ship the ship starts to pull the tug especially if uh, there is a miscommunication between the tug master and the ship's master the second type of tugs i want to talk about is the tractor tugs the tractor tugs has uh, certain advantages which includes uh, providing full thrust over 360 degrees of its operation it has a rapid power on response time and outstanding maneuverability capabilities in contrast to the conventional tugs tractor tugs are able to reposition quickly if required by the pilot their control systems are very simple and they pose a very low risk of capsizing they can effectively or more effectively overcome the interaction forces when interacting with the ship at close distances they have improved operational capability in a restricted area such as a lock of a channel and they have reliable and robust propulsion units the key to the true tractor tug lies in the use of two multi directional propulsion units of which some are rather like large rotating outboard motors with other consisting of rotating vertical blades they enable the thrust units of the tug to be placed side by side more or less under the bridge of the tug hence facilitating spectacular maneuverability in the right hands the towing point can be placed much nearer the stern because the propulsion units and therefore the thrust is always outside of the towing point thus creating a good positive turning moment however the tractor tugs also have certain disadvantages firstly they are considered to be very high capital investment a lot of money is required to buy these tugs and maintain these tugs these kind of tugs have less bollard pull the repair and maintenance of complex underwater units are quite expensive handling in an open seaway might be poor with the short distance between the pivot point and the thrust which creates a short turning lever healing angle with full side thrust may be up to 21 degrees with some tugs therefore risk of damage can exist when laying alongside a ship sophisticated underwater units may be damaged on grounding drafts may be up to 
5 meters which is large in comparison to conventional tugs. The retraining of conventional tug master is essential in order to fully maximize the tug's potential. The tractor tug's versatility is further enhanced by working the tug's tow line directly from a winch drum with a remote control joystick from the bridge. The tug master can thus alter the length of the tow line at will and with considerable ease. Finally, we come to the azimuthal stern drive tugs or ASD tugs as they are known as. These tugs utilize some of the benefits of both conventional and tractor tugs. It can employ two towing positions, one amidships and one forward and main propulsion is from two rotating azimuth units which are placed rather like a traditional twin screw. ASD tugs also like the other tugs have certain advantages. These tugs are better directional stability at speed. They are more suitable hull form for open waters and working in a seaway. They have improved bollard pull. The azimuth units are easy to withdraw for maintenance and repair. The maximum heel with side thrust is less than 15 degrees, which is a contrast to the tractor tugs and the value of 21 degrees. These tugs have a shallower average draft of 3 meters. Finally, we'll discuss the disadvantages of the ASD tugs. The side stepping ability of ASD tugs is not so good. The squat at the stern and flooding of the aft deck has been known to occur with certain types when backing with full power. They are still susceptible to girding or capsizing when using the aft towing position. These kind of tugs are slightly more at risk from effects of interaction. They have complex control systems and are more susceptible to rubbish damaging propellers. It is not uncommon for 99% of all doing to be limited to forward position only. So guys, I hope this was a useful video for you to learn about the types of tugs that are used in ship handling or towing, um, mainly classified as three types of tugs. Make notes about this tug so that if you get any questions regarding this type of tugs, you can answer it. Thanks guys and bye.